Hiya, I hope you're well. My name is Simranjit Kulman and today I'm going to be taking you on a day in my life as a trainee solicitor. Currently I'm in my first seat. I am in the construction disputes team and I'll be moving into my next seat in September. So, so far I've had quite a bit of an experience in the construction disputes team and I can give you a bit of an insight into the certain tasks I get involved in and yeah what goes on i look forward to sharing you the rest of my day let's get to it so i'm at my desk i've got my breakfast with me over there and i start off my day with going through my emails so this means checking through my emails and seeing what's come up over the weekend so today's a monday that i'm filming so checking if anything new has come out over the weekend and also every monday i get sent commercial awareness updates for my field in construction so I have a read through those as well. And then I use what's in the emails that have come in as well as tasks that have been left over from last week to form my to-do list. And I try and make a new to-do list the day before the day I start work, but sometimes I don't have time. So on Friday, it was such a hectic day. I didn't have time to make my to-do list for Monday. So I'm going to be doing that this morning and yeah and then i've got a team meeting at 9 30 which i'll take you to as well so the team meeting is done and essentially uh, it was the transactional side of the team um so i can't obviously i couldn't video exactly what i'd said because i would have revealed confidential information about clients and matters that i'm working for however what i did say was that i had some capacity to help out with the team this week and I also volunteered for a task for reviewing some collateral warranties. So these team meetings are a really good way to find out what everyone's up to and really get an idea about capacity, who's available, who can help out, who's really slammed and needs extra help. So it's really great that we're all able to bunch in and just chip in to work whenever anyone needs it. And yeah, I think I think that's the main thing with the team meetings, just finding out what everyone's up to. I'm now going to get on to the first task of my day, which is drafting. It's a drafting exercise. So the bare details of this drafting exercise, I'm essentially a drafting instructions to council. So we need council. So by council, I mean barristers, I mean QCs. We need their opinion on an area of law. What I'm doing in this instructions to council is I am drafting all the factual information about the client's matter. So everything that's happened, all the background, making the exhibits and the bundle and forming that all together to then send off to counsel and say, this is what we've got. What's your opinion on it? Does the client have a case? And, you know, we'll ask the barrister some questions and hopefully they're able to answer that. Now, the reason why we've gone for um, instructing counsel rather than researching ourselves is in some respects, sometimes it can be a lot cheaper. I think also barristers can sometimes be a bit smarter than us as well, and they're able to think of the answer. Um, and they're, they're a lot more specialist in that field. So they're able to find the answer faster, which means that sometimes they are the cheaper option to go by compared to us solicitors just searching and searching and searching and then billing something that's really expensive because we've spent so much time on it. So that's the reason why we're instructing counsel on this matter. So I've just finished drafting these instructions to council and I've sent it off to my supervisor to review and um, yeah, provide her comments. Just had a couple of emails come in while I was working on that. Um, one from a colleague who wants me to update her on what's happened with a matter that I've been progressing while she was away on annual leave last week. So I'll probably draft her an email just saying, you know, what I did, any emails that came through, stuff like that. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I've just finished drafting some emails. Um, so quite a few emails came in from other people saying, can you send this document? And a lot of a lawyer's job actually is replying back to emails. I'm not going to lie. Like that is what I spend a lot of my time doing. So yeah, I've got lunchtime now, bit of an early lunch today because I'm feeling super hungry. It's around 11.40, so yeah, I usually have my lunch around midday, ele uh, one o'clock, but today I'm feeling a bit peckish, so I might have a bit earlier. So I've just had lunch and I was watching Modern Family at the same time, which is fantastic. I now have to call someone. I used to get really scared about calling people. Um, when I started my training contract, I used to find it very um, 
yeah a scary thing to do um still i get a little bit nervous about it but i think i've grown a lot more in confidence when calling people now uh, so I have to call an external party. They're an expert that we've instructed for a particular matter. And it's essentially just chasing them up and seeing, you know, where they've gotten up to um, with the progress of their work. So that's the main thing um, that I have to do now after work. And just another thing I have to do is I'm just looking to the side because my email's on that side. But also just looking at certain files and um, seeing whether there's been any emails that have come through because again like I mentioned one of the lawyers in my team was away so I'm just updating her on the matters and just checking that nothing slipped through the cracks. Hi just a quick one to say that I usually actually work with sometimes my airpods in um, because I think it's one of the perks of working from home that you can just plug these in and just zone out and just work. In terms of music that I listen to I listen to music that doesn't necessarily have lyrics in I feel like that helps me concentrate but sometimes I do listen to kind of motivational music I have this whole Spotify playlist which is literally called songs that make me want to secure the bag and that's what I use for um when I want to really fire at work at the last minute and I need something to motivate myself so um that can mean kind of house music it can mean grime hip-hop R&B so yeah that's what I listen to let's get back to work this call was actually an impromptu one with a trainee who I also started my training contract with. So we were both in our first seat and it was essentially a chat about seat options. Seat rotations is coming up very, very soon. So just finding out a bit about our options, what we had in mind, it's just a really informal chat. And I think it's so nice to have conversations like this with colleagues, especially when you're not in the workplace. So yeah, it was a great catch up. So a call with my trainee friend has just been done. I have now received an urgent email, which I quickly have to do now. Oh, my thumb's blocking the camera. I quickly have to do this task now. It's essentially just finding the answer for something. Obviously, I can't reveal many much more detail than that, but they want an answer ASAP. As part of a lawyer, you have to do tasks sometimes like this as soon as possible, which is what I'm going to do now. So I've just done the urgent task and another one has come in for this chronology that I'm doing. So it's a chronology of documents um, that I have to do by the end of today. I've also got a meeting at 4 p.m. So that's for an hour. So essentially I am going to work on this document now until the meeting. So the meeting's in 15 minutes and then I've got my client call from four to five. And then I'll work on this document for the rest of this evening until I'm done. This client meeting was with myself, it was with the managing associate in my team and it was also with a partner in the team. And in these calls, one thing that I really do look out for is how those a lot more experienced than me, a lot more senior to me, actually communicate with clients, how they answer their questions, how they remain professional, how they deal with situations where they don't know the answer to the client's problem or question. I always try and note these things down. In these calls as well, it's always, I guess, etiquette in the law firm from what I've heard and from what I've learned that the most junior in the room is the person who takes the note of the call. So usually in these calls, that's usually me. I'm usually the person taking a note of the conversation. This means literally typing everything that's been said down. It's really useful then to go back to this information later on should we need to jog our memory on what's been discussed. So just finished off the call now, it's 5pm and now what I have to do is finish off this document that I have, don't know how long it's going to take but when it's done it's done, it's due today so it's due today and that's life of a trainee, you know, you've got to somehow put in the hours sometimes um, beyond 5pm so wish me luck. Right, we are done with work. So I usually end the day with my time recording. We're supposed to be time recording as we go along, but sometimes there are things that I forget to time record or I have them in the system, but I haven't clicked on release yet. So I just make sure that my time recording is okay. I quickly check my inbox to make sure that I've not missed out on anything. And then I, I turn my laptop off and it's six o'clock now. So that's a decent time. I'd see, I usually log off around this time, which I think for a London trainee is a really good time to log off. So I'm really, really lucky with that. And yeah, that's the end of my day. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's vlog. If you want to see more of this kind of content on the Law Careers channel, just please do let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video.